What's going on Dolphins fans? It's Connor from the Dolphins Dive and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the Dolphins versus the Bills that's coming up on this Sunday at 1 o'clock. Shocking it's not a prime time game but here we are and it's truly going to be the battle of the AFC East. It's going to be a bloodbath. So I'm going to start out by breaking down our offense versus their defense which this is truly going to be a juggernaut battle. Our offense is first in points per game. Their defense is second in points per game. So you're talking about the top offense versus one of the top defenses in the entire league. And these future stats I'm about to say also show that. So the Dolphins are first in passing yards per game. Bills are third in passing yards allowed. Which, to be fair, they did play the Jets and the Commies and the Raiders. So not the best teams, but it's still extremely impressive what they've done. Uh, they have the highest pressure rate without blitzing like they're bottom left of that chart So they blitz the least and they have the most pressure, which is absurd um, We are first in rushing yards per game shout out to the Broncos for letting that happen and they are 14th in rushing yards allowed So there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. I won't say we are true number one rushing yard per game team It's just based off of what happened last week and it's still being three weeks into the season but that does go to show what we're capable of doing on the ground, which is going to be a key point I make coming up. So offensive keys, I'm going to start with it. Establish the run. Run the dang ball. And it's due to how the Bills play defense. They're kind of similar to how the Dolphins now play defense, which is they like to park two safeties in the back, especially against the Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle offense. And they rely on their nickel corner, which is Tron Johnson, which does a phenomenal job. There's not many corners that are willing to stick their nose in the run like he does. And he allows them to stay in nickel defense, even against heavier packages. What I mean by that is that means the Dolphins have a fullback like Alec Ingold on the field, or they have multiple tight ends. NFL modernized is now a lot of 11 personnel, which is one tight end, one receiver, which is a light offensive package. But when teams get heavier, uh, defenses tend to match that personnel by adding an extra linebacker onto the field. But the Bills don't do that. They stay in that nickel package with Teron Johnson, and he allows them to do that. And I recall, um, and this is going to be key to this game, the last time we played them in the regular season in Buffalo, Alec Ingold was mic'd up, and he goes for Teron Johnson. It's going to be a long day for you, bro. It's going to be a long day for you, bro. Just letting you know. Come on, bring that up. Yeah, I'm just saying. And I think that goes to show the kind of game plan the Dolphins are going to have is if you want to stay in nickel, Mike McDaniel is okay. And it's kind of similar to what we did in the, the Patriots game. I think the Dolphins want to pass on every team if they can because of the weapons that we have. But if teams are going to force our hand and play lighter packages, so that's what I think Mike McDaniel is going to do. He's going to target their light defensive fronts since they want to stay in nickel despite us being in 21 personnel, which is two backs. Raheem Moster probably an Alkin Gold and one tight end against the nickel defense. That's favor offense in terms of like strength and size on the field. So I think Mike McDaniel is going to look to establish the run, especially if they don't switch personnel groupings and really try and pound the rock like we did against the Patriots. And then obviously have playoff play action passes off of that. They're still going to pass the ball. It's obvious what the Dolphins do. But I think they're really going to look to win this game on the ground. And kind of shown by the stats, we are the first in rushing yards per game, which, like I mentioned, is a little skewed. But they're 14th in rushing yards allowed. They got gashed a little bit by uh, Brian Robinson. They're not the best run defense, and that's simply due to how they play. I mean, being 14th in run defense while playing a too high coverage is quite impressive. So I expect that's how the Dolphins are going to plan to attack the Bills, and that's what I think they should do run a lot of 21 personnel, have Alec Ingold right, run right at Teron Johnson and pound the rock. And then uh, honestly, with our passing game, do what you do, find the zone windows. They're a very zone heavy team and rock out like that. So I'm going to go over some players to watch for the Bills. Uh, Jordan Poyer is out for them, unfortunately. Uh, I don't wish injury upon anyone, but some players to watch for them. And this is probably the longest list we'll see all season because of how good of a unit this is. Starting with Teron Johnson, like I mentioned, he's their... The pure reason why they're allowed to stay in nickel defense, despite facing heavier offensive packages. Uh, Ed Oliver, obviously one of the best interior defensive linemen in the league. He's already got two sacks this season, which is hard from the interior line. 
Leonard Floyd, I think, has three sacks, came over, I believe, from the Rams, uh, and is off to a fast start with them. Like I mentioned, they get pressure only sending four, which is a nightmare for NFL offenses because if they don't need to blitz to get pressure, then they can drop seven defenders into coverage and mix and match it however they'd like and confuse the offense. So it's on this offensive line to be able to slow them down. We haven't really seen the Dolphins have to purely pass protect much at all because we've been able to establish to run a lot of play action uh, passing as well, which is a different style of blocking. So it should be interesting. Like I said, hopefully the Dolphins can establish to run and pass protect similar to what we have done, which is ball out quick or play action or just run the ball. So next guy on this list, Terrell Bernard. He's taking over for Tremaine Edmonds, and he's been an absolute stud. Uh, I believe he won AFC Defensive Player of the Week. He's been all over the field. He's filled in tremendously for Tremaine Edmonds, so he's someone to look out for. Obviously, Matt Milano, who I know all Dolphins fans love. That guy's an asshole. Gregory Rousseau, a former teammate with Jalen Phillips, although I don't think they've actually played together. Tredavious White, who's been a bill for his entire career. And then last but not least, Micah Hyde. Finally back. He missed most of last season with that injury, but he's back and healthy. So, yeah. Bills offense versus Dolphins defense. And this is statistically where it looks like they have the advantage. They beat us in basically every statistical category. They're second in points per game. Dolphins defense is 20th. Uh, Bills are 12th in passing yards per game, which this is actually surprising me. Dolphins are 20th in passing yards allowed, but the Bills are 7th in rushing yards per game. I'm not going to lie, going into me making this preview, I thought they were probably still kind of like last year where they're a shitty run team, but they're able to run the ball pretty effectively. Uh, and that's something to be aware of because, I mean, if a team can just run the ball down your throat, they're going to do it. Uh, Dolphins are 24th in rushing yards allowed per game. Uh, defensive keys stopped the run, which I didn't plan on actually having to put here because I didn't think they'd actually be willing to, but they clearly are. And now, to be fair, some of that those rushing yards are just... Josh Allen scrambles, which they count as rushing yards, but they're not directly correlated to the run defense. Um, so be able to stop the run. And then this part I think is big. Play sound coverage in the back end. Like we know, Vic Fangio likes to play too high coverage, so don't get beat deep. But force Josh Allen to take checkdowns because that's why he struggled against the Jets. Now, to be fair, he's bounced back tremendously against the past two teams and takes what the defense gives him. He's but. In his heart, we all know Josh Allen is a gunslinger. He wants to throw the ball down the field. Force him to check the ball down. Wait for him to get impatient and throw up a pick. Wait for Deshaun Elliott or Javon Holland just to catch a punt. Like that That's kind of what we let him beat you by dinking and dunking. Um, and I think that's the best way to have success against this offense. They're obviously going to make plays. They're good enough offense. They're going to make plays. They're going to put up points. But don't let them just hit free explosive plays and maybe lure Josh Allen into just chucking one up uh, and getting some free plays. So I think that's the defensive keys for the game. Players to watch for the Bills offense. Obviously, Josh Allen is a dual threat. He's an absolute stud, despite what anyone might want to say. James Cook's having a solid year. Um, Stephon Diggs, obviously, is Stephon Diggs. And then Gabe Davis, as well, is having a very good year. They also have the two tight ends, Dawson Knox and Dalton Kincaid. They haven't put up crazy stat lines, but they're always uh, a short yardage. Like if third and five and you know, like they need yards, you kind of suspect them or especially the red zone. I feel like uh, Josh Allen's favorite target in the red zone is Dawson Knox. So look out for those players. But now it's time for the prediction. Before I give mine, comment down below what yours is in the comments. Um, but I'm 3-0 on the season, as are the Dolphins with my prediction. Dating back to last year, I'm 14 and 6, so that's pretty good. You know what I mean? I made my prediction video ahead of the season, and I had the Dolphins losing this game. Uh, but that's obviously without having the information of the past three games. And the Dolphins are truly a buzzsaw, and I honestly have a good feeling we're going to come out with a victory. So I'm predicting us to win 31 27. I do want to preface that with saying, like, this is a tough game. You're going into. Uh, the Bills field, I don't even know what it's called anymore. I think they renamed it New Era or something. But you're going into Buffalo. It's a divisional game. It's not going to be a cakewalk. It's not going to be easy. If we lose, it's not the end of the world. Um, but I just think the Dolphins are riding such a heater. Uh, I expect them to keep that going and move on to 4-0. Like I said, comment down below what your thoughts are on that. 
Check out the Dolphins eye for the best Dolphins merch. Like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Until next time, I'll catch y'all.